Today I'm going to show you how to make this seashell bowl with clay molds, pigment powders, and saran wrap. It's a lot easier than it looks. Stay tuned to the very end of this video for a special one year anniversary offer. We're gonna make this bowl. I'm not even done with it. I still need to add the wax and the pigment powder. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do with it next. It's been sitting here for two weeks because I can't make a decision on how to finish this bowl. This is the seashell mold from Iron Orchid Design, and here it is. And it's got seahorses, it's got all kinds of situations. First thing you wanna do is find a bowl. These molds are very detailed, so the first thing you want to do is dust them with baking soda so you don't lose any of the design. You can use resin or many types of clay with these molds. I love the paper clay because it's durable, it's easy to use, and you can pull it right out of the mold and bend it around curved surfaces before it dries. This is the bowl that I picked right here. Try and pick one that doesn't have such a distinct ridge, but it's pretty good. And then you need saran wrap. You're gonna take the bowl and you're gonna cover it. You can apply the molds onto the bowl. I'm applying the plastic wrap to the bowl so I can apply glue to the molds and pull them off later. This is the mold that I picked. It's the seashell mold. It's got seahorses and sand dollars and starfish. You could use any kind of mold. Look at all of these molds that we sell. You could totally do all these flowers. This is one that's called Classic Elements. You could make it all architectural looking. Endless possibilities. Doesn't have to be seashells. That's just what I like. My favorite glue to use for this is Aileen's Tacky Glue because it's non-toxic, it's very strong, and it dries clear. This is the tricky part. You need to attach the molds to themselves, not to the saran wrap. So you want the molds to overlap and apply the glue with a brush where the molds touch each other. Paper clay is good because it doesn't dry right away, so you can form it and you can literally take it right out of the mold and bend it around the surface. You just start going to town with this with this mold. My card on my camera ran out of space, so I had to stop and erase a bunch of stuff. So cute. Oh. Does have anything to do with the seashell bowl? Yeah, because we had to look at cute stuff and then we got inspired. To make the seashell bowl? Yes. Okay. You just want to start like making these molds like crazy. You want to just make them and make them over and over again and start applying them to the bowl. I used an entire package of clay to make this bowl. I just kept making the molds over and over again. You can do this ahead of time and store them in the freezer so the clay doesn't dry. You want to start with your largest molds and then work your way down to the smaller size molds. I watched the three pink elephants. Because of the amount of molds that I used overlapping each other, it took more than 24 hours for the clay to dry completely. You will want the clay to be completely dry before you remove it from the bowl. You're laying the clay on the bowl. You want to use this glue right here. This is one of my favorite glues because it's non-toxic and it dries clear. Once I started laying all the clay pieces on this bowl in layers, I'm like, how's it going to stick to each other? Because I didn't want to smush the clay together because then obviously it would look warped. I just put glue over every mold and just laid it on top of each other over and over again. The next thing to do is to paint the bowl, making sure to get down into all the nooks and crannies. I'm using the color White Swan, but you can use any color that you like. At this point, I did not like the way the bowl looked from the inside, so I decided to roll out a sheet of clay 
and apply it to the inside of the bowl. Find a podcast, find a video, find a movie, do something else while you're doing this or you will lose your freaking mind. Usually the clay dries in a couple hours, but this took a long time. It took a long, long two day time. When I lifted it off, the inside of it looked like a hot mess. So now you're gonna see how I rolled out the clay and created an inner bowl for the bowl so that it would have a more finished look and I'm pretty happy with it. I think we may be on the wrong side of Pasadena and the grass. Roll out a thin layer of clay with a rolling pin. You can see here that my first try wasn't big enough. You want a circle that is slightly bigger than the bowl itself. Last Easter, singing hallelujah preacher, I know just what I ought to do. Once you get the right size, apply glue to the back and press and pinch the clay down, pinching the edges to create a smooth line around the rim. I got nothing left to lose, and if Jesus returns soon, once I took it out, even though it was dry, it was kind of weeble wobbly, so I had to take some twine and tie up the bowl so that it would dry into the shape that I wanted. The clay continues to dry over a period of a few days, so I use painter's tape and rope to prop up the bowl and get it to dry in the shape that I wanted. After the clay was completely dry, I removed the rope and the tape, and then I stared at it for a couple of days, trying to decide what I was going to do next. That is it. That's as far as I got. I tied up the bowl. It's all dry. Now I have to make a decision on how I'm going to finish it, and I'm just going to go for it now, and we'll see how it turns out. DIY making powders are so much fun. The pigments are really intense and you can use them in literally hundreds of ways. I'm cheap, I'm to you're I applied a thin coat of clear wax and sprinkled on the making powder before the wax dries. Then I used a small brush to work the pigments down into all the low spots. And then I wiped off the excess from the high spots with a soft cloth. IOD molds are super high quality. The making powder helps to bring out all of the beautiful, intricate detail. Our making powders come in 12 beautiful, super saturated colors. I'm using the color Elixir, which is a very intense cobalt blue. For the inside of the bowl, I'm using the color Pool Party, applying it the same way, putting down the clear wax first, and then rubbing it in with a stencil brush. This is the bowl. If you have ever made a bowl out of something weird, like on YouTube, I see all kinds of bowls. I made a bowl out of sea glass a long time ago. I will put the link up here and down in the description box. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, because we have a new video coming in a couple of days. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. To find the molds, the making powder, and all the products used in this video, click the link below. And to find a retailer near you, click the link below. She pulls the sheets off of me every night. We are celebrating our one year anniversary at DIY Agogo. Click the link below to find out about our artist retreat, our special giveaways, and our amazing sale. Thanks for watching. It's like you
To say thank you for our first year in business, we are offering this seahorse ring at a $32 value free with any orders over $100 while supplies last.